Good morning folks, welcome back to another video and today I'm in somewhere completely different to the busy streets of Hong Kong and I've swapped it up for the busy streets of Bangkok here in Thailand. So if you watched the last video of the mystic aunties and uncles of Yamate in Hong Kong, you'll know that Thailand is now my new destination to go and explore here on the channel. Now I want to tell you a little bit of a story before we go and explore the busy area of Sukhumvit and Nana Plaza. And it was about where I chose to stay here in Bangkok. Hello, brother. Oh, I'm okay. How are you doing, mate? You all right? Where you wanna go, sir? Oh, I'm just... For me, you know, I have a good recommendation. You can take the video as well, you know? Take the video. Okay, maybe later. I'm gonna yes, go for a walk. The thing is because I speak English. Yeah. And the one I recommend you, you can, you can see, you know, the proof. Ah, okay. You've got very good English. Thank you, sir. We got to practice. I, I found the poor family, you know. Ah, practice makes perfect, man. Yeah, hey, look, I'm nice. gonna go for a walk. Are you here all day? Can I give you the number? The number? What? Yes. We got to before you decide about a tuk-tuk driver, it's be yeah. like a scam, you know. You yeah. have to try first, you know. Uh, I get what you mean, man. Yeah, I'll take down the number. What's your number? Uh, I, I give you an international phone number. Okay. okay. That's it, bro. Thank you. My name A. A. Yes, just A B C. Mr. A. This is Mr. nickname. A. Where's and Mr. B? Mr. You, <laughs> Mr. Me. Ah. Wow. Okay. Thank you, A. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Have a nice you. day, buddy. Yeah, Thank you. you. Later. See you later. So that there, what I was trying to tell my little story about where I've come to stay in Bangkok was one of the infamous tuk-tuk drivers. Uh, I mean, I'm not really sure. I mean, online you read a lot about the tuk-tuk drivers charging you over the top and a lot of money. And I mean, he might be one of those gentlemen. But who knows, who knows, maybe explore that option later. But to be honest, I don't think I'm going to risk it. I just thought I'd be nice and, and say hello and have a chat with him and then take his number just in case I do end up deciding to use a tuk-tuk. But to be honest, I like walking around. I like exploring. You can't really explore when you're on the back of a, a car or a tuk-tuk or a motorcycle. But anyway, what I was trying to say was when I first booked my hotel here in Bangkok I was looking for the best place to stay and everyone online was saying yeah stay in Sukhumvit very nice place lots going on so I decided I'd book my hotel in Sukhumvit and it turns out I'd booked my hotel just two minutes walk away from the infamous red light district <laughs> this here is the uh, Nana Plaza and it's the most infamous area in Thailand and Bangkok for and an all-round exciting and interesting nightlife but anyway let's get on to what we're gonna do today and what I want to show you in this video and essentially what I want to go and explore is around the Sukhumvit area around the Nana area to show you guys what it's like around here and also experience it for the first time myself and look with some beautiful food hello hello Wow. Beautiful food. But stuff like this with the street foods, the busy bars and restaurants, and who knows, maybe some more interesting people like uh, Mr. A, the tuk tuk driver. But yeah, this is my first ever time here in Thailand, and uh, it's going to be an interesting one. I mean, as you've seen in previous videos, I've been in Hong Kong for a good while, I visited Vietnam. And of course, some of the rural areas of England. <laughs> but I don't think anything is going to be just as the same as here in Bangkok. Because it's very different, very lively. And I'm not going to lie, when you first come here, it's quite uncomfortable. But I feel throughout the week here at Thailand, I will come out of my shell. And hopefully embrace the craziness that is Bangkok. Now anyway, I'm going to go and explore a little bit around here. And if anything interesting pops up, I'll of course show you guys and bring you guys along but until then I'll see you in a minute Right, so I've arrived next to the Korea town Sukhumvit Plaza heading towards what I believe to be Terminal 21 one of the most famous shopping centers in the city and I've, not, I've probably just seen the funniest name for a restaurant in my life 
Look at this, cabbages and condoms. Bloody hell. I mean, that's probably one of the more wilder things that I've ever experienced in my life. I mean, I think this place is definitely set up and geared towards tourism. I mean, just walking down here, I'm seeing a, a variety of different places to eat, from Korean food to Western food to also almost kind of British pub style bars. I'm almost expected to walk in and see a, a middle-aged man with a big beer belly, with a sunburn and a white vest top sitting there enjoying a beautiful cold Colesberg. <laughs> and fair play to him if he is. What the? You just look at this guy up there, right? He just climbed up the ladder to get up on here. I swear to God, the electrical work here, man. Can you go in here? Wow. I mean, look, I would not want to be the person that has to sort all that out, I'll tell you now. The electrician turned up to my house, right? And that's the job he did. I wouldn't be too happy. Hello. Very, uh, Mixed up, right? Wow. Look at that. What a dude. Just got up in the middle of the road, just doing all the wires. Wow. Very, very, yeah. <laughs> bye bye. Goodness me, that is crazy. Imagine that, you're coming back from work and you're seeing that on the way back. That is, that is nuts. But look, even down here. I'm, so ast I'm just astonished by the wires. I don't even care what's going on over here. What about the electrician's bloody handiwork? That can't be safe, surely, look at that. Not a job that I'd want to do, I tell you that now. There's another guy up here, up there, bloody sorting it out and all. Hello, Hello. can I ask you a question? Why is there so many wires? What? Why is there so many wires? Yes. There's many? Yeah. Why? 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 <laughs> don't know. No. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Have a good day. I like your drink. Water. Water. Yeah. It's cool though. I like this. Cute. Yeah, very cute. You got a little... <laughs> I like it. See you later. Have a good day. Well, there we go. No one will know the mystery of why there's so many wires in Bangkok. <laughs> I've got to say, I'm astonished. Walking around today, it's a lot less, a lot less kind of uncomfortable than I thought it would be. But I tell you now, every five minutes, you're either ask for a tuk-tuk or a massage. Hello, brother. You okay? Hey. Hello. So I'm not really sure where to have a look now. I'm just going to carry on looking around and see if there's anything more interesting going on. But I mean, it's good. I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, there's, there's interaction. Everywhere you go, there's interaction. Be it a tuk-tuk driver, uh, a massage specialist. That's what we'll call them. The massage specialist. But no, it's, it's nice. I like it. I mean, at the end of the day, I respect the entrepreneurial spirit. Oh, let's just go and have a look at more, man. <laughs> so, it's about midday now here in Bangkok, Sukhumvit. And we're just carrying on at looking around, seeing what's more around here. I went and had a little sit down at the hotel. It's very warm at the moment this part of Southeast Asia. So being out for hours on end drains your energy and makes you incredibly, incredibly sweaty. So <laughs> you need a bit of time to decompress, relax, get yourself back to the level you were in the morning. But things have gotten a little bit more lively. I mean, not incredibly, but compared to 10 o'clock this morning, things are starting to open up a bit. You've got more tourists out in the bars, enjoying the daytime. As you can see, people enjoying a drink. Enjoying everything. You got the tuk tuk man over there. Hello, tuk tuk man. You okay, my friend? You have a very nice tuk tuk. Oh no, it's okay. I'm going to walk. You show me, okay? Sh come show me. You come here, or I come there. Am I coming there? Okay. I'm okay, man. How are you? No, 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 no. <laughs> what have you got, got to man? offer? Let's have. You're from England. England. Where are you from? Where do you think I'm from? You're from European. European. Uh, yes, I am European. Where I'm from, from England. He's from UK, England. From England, yeah. Okay, I help. Yeah, yeah. Sure. comment about the day trip. Okay, yeah. You okay. can go to the river. So took the boat trip. The boat trip, yeah. yeah and then you can shoot video all the, of all the videos. Yeah. Ah. I just get you 100 baht to the river. 100 baht to the river. Yeah. If okay. you are, when we arrive there, 
you can get a trip kit, oh. buy the boat trip, and then the boat show you around, man. See the city, part the river, and go to the Kwong, to the canal, see whatever. You see like a boat souvenir market okay. on the trip, and you see the wallet, feed farm, Whoa. and then see the Thailand Old House, and then signature of the Kong by Kong Mon. See the sitting Buddha is bigger one. And then after the boat trip, they take you learn, turn around, back to same area. Back, oh, this is like uh, River Thames yes. in London, right? No, or, no, 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 not River Thames. This is Chao Phraya River. Chao Phraya. Ah, yeah, I get okay. 200 baht there, man. Oh, back. Maybe later, oh. for now. Ah, come on now. I want to have a walk around, look around. Go with my tip better. Hey, I'll have a think about it, okay? Maybe next time. All right, oh. what's your name? Ho Siap. Ho Siap. Uh. Hey, brother. Hey, later, later, okay? I'll have a think. Thank you. Bye bye. So yeah, this is this is essentially what it's like walking around as a, a Western man in uh, Bangkok. Um, the tuk-tuk touts come up, ask you, take you where you need to go for only a hundred baht. I mean, look, I'm not going to say that every single person driving a tuk-tuk is trying to take your money, but there are stories online of people getting in a tuk-tuk, being taken to somewhere where they don't know or haven't experienced, and then they get charged a lot of money for essentially something that they didn't want to do and more money than was originally quoted to them at the start. But yeah, I wanna have a little bit more of a look around here, see what's, what it's like in the daytime, because at nighttime later on, we'll show you the craziness that unfolds after around about seven, six, seven o'clock at nighttime. Hello, brother. Hello. What a beautiful song he's singing there. Let's have a chat to him. Very good. He ain't too bothered. He don't want to talk to me. He just wants to sing his heart out. Well, I hope, wish him the best. He should get himself on Thailand's Got Talent. I was hoping he'd let me have a go. Well, he doesn't seem to want to talk. <laughs> ah. So right here we have a fruit vendor. Get some, uh, one of my five a day. See what's on offer. Got some pineapple, melon, papaya. What we got over here? Let's have a look over here. Lord knows what this is. Hello, what 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 is this? Chicken. Over here. Might get myself some fruit, some pineapple. Get some pineapple I'll try. Hello, my friend. How much for some pineapple? Twenty baht. Okay. Very tasty, my friend. Is this the best pineapple in Bangkok? Jib, uh -huh. <laughs> thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you, wow. This costs about 50 pence. Only 50 pence. Very good, if you ask me. I'm looking forward to this, actually. I've not had any uh, fruit for a good while, because in Hong Kong, fruit is very expensive. <laughs> right, let's give this a go. Let's give this a try. I imagine a lot more fresh than what you get in the supermarket. We'll have a look at that. Nice, juicy, very fresh indeed. Right on the street corner, as you're walking to work, you can pick up some beautiful fruits. Get your five a day in, get a healthy lifestyle for only 50 British pence. You can get your whole five a day for two pound 50 off my guy there. Right, I'm gonna finish my pineapple. Wow, it's a nice little shrine in an old tree there. Wow, that's this gentleman. Excuse me, sir. Do you know this, uh, this in the tree? What, what is this? Like a shrine? I don't, don't know, don't know. It's okay, thank you, thank you. Wow, no one will, no one knows what the little house in the tree is there for. Maybe the fairies of Bangkok reside there before spreading their magic across the city. Mm. I wish they'd spread a bit of cold air this way. Cause I tell you now, I bloody need it. Yeah. Wow. Now this is not something that you'd get in England. I say that a lot. Everywhere I go, I always say this is not in England. Of course it's not, Jake. Of course you're not gonna get uh, a Buddhist shrine with people dancing in England. Over here we've got a 
video in front of the people dancing very good right very good yeah what a cool little thing to have done have a video of some people dancing behind you I don't think you'd get me doing that to be honest I'm not very much of a dancer <laughs> but anyway let's leave the people here to pray in peace as they don't want some Englishman walking around and distracting them Wow. hello Very typical of, of Asian cities, I find, is the almost the, the randomness. Like back home, everything's quite almost quite simple. I mean, of course, you have like things going on and events, but especially in places in Southeast Asia, when you walk around and you go and explore every single day, there's something new going on and something new to see. I mean, we've got a cage of birds being sold on the street, we've got a massive temple full of people dancing around, praying, offering blessings. And it's just something that's very kind of lacking in Europe. I mean, I know a lot of people are gonna say, but Jake, you know, you're wrong. Of course there's culture in Europe. And no, I'm not disputing that. But what I am saying is, it's almost plotted around here in Thailand and Southeast Asia. And it's the sh sheer vastness and variety that you can find out on the streets. That is really compelling and really kind of forces you to want to come here. And that's kind of what has brought me to Thailand. And just hearing stories from my friends saying, yeah, this place is pretty nuts, go and have a look. I enjoyed my time there and I think you will too. That made me think, why not? Let's go and have a look around Bangkok, which is brilliant. <laughs> I love it here. <laughs> so, we have walked down this very, very long road very very long road away from Sukhumvit to explore a little bit more in the downtown area of Siam a bit off tour obviously I say look around Sukhumvit for a while before heading back but I thought why not carry on down and see how the other half live over in Siam now for those of you who don't know Siam is a much more wealthier area it's definitely not for the likes of me who's down in Nana Plaza Sukhumvit with all the big shops big names and this Siam Paragon has got all of those big names from Dior, Burberry and the likes as such. Definitely not a fake market that I'm accustomed to so I, I doubt that's going to be a place I explore in great depth but it's still nice around here. I mean at the end of the day it just feels like any other city. And you know what, considering I've lived in Hong Kong for the last 10 months I've got to say Bangkok is very different. And don't get me wrong, I, I love Hong Kong and the reason why I stayed there for so long was because of the love I have for it. But I've got to say, considering Hong Kong has got this name of being an international city, east meets west, I think Bangkok definitely has that as well. Maybe even more so, because I, I walk around and I kind of see more western themes in the city. And I think that's pretty beautiful. I think the, uh, the merging of east and western culture especially here in this international city. It's very nice to see, because especially where you come from, where I'm from in England, where a lot of people are very apprehensive to mix with other cultures and, and almost kind of delve into different parts of the world. It's really refreshing to be able to have that perspective. We've even got a, an advert for bloody Harry Potter, for goodness sake. Daniel Radcliffe's got himself out here and all. Now I'm going to have a little bit more of a walk around in Siam. I will say though, you see me keep wiping my eyes on video. It's because I can't, I can't even put across the camera how hot it is here. The moment there was a typhoon that went through Taiwan and it's pushed all this hot air over to Southeast Asian countries such as Thailand and Hong Kong, of course. And it's just created this really hot, murky, weather but hey as long as I've got my sun cream <laughs> I'll be all right fingers crossed <laughs> so I've just arrived at the MBK center which is just behind me here and for those of you who don't know MBK center one of the biggest 
and probably one of the most famous fake goods market in the entire world and you've probably all seen videos across youtube of people going to get some amazing deals here at the mbk center and don't you worry even though this video you're probably seeing there go in jake go and go and have a look and go and get some deals but don't you worry in the next video or one of the next videos i'm going to be going to the mbk center and exploring to see what i can find here but i just wanted to show you the absolute vastness of this place it is wild now that we've had a look a little bit around siam <laughs> hello <laughs> now that we have had a little bit more around siam i'm going to jump on the sky train and go and explore more of Sukhumvit. so let's get on the train now head over there and see what it's like back over in Sukhumvit. see if we can meet some more interesting people like the tuk tuk man mr a i'll see you guys in a bit Right, there we go. We're back in Nana after looking over at the more upmarket area of Siam. Now, I want to go and look around a couple more areas in Nana before heading back until the night time. Hello, buddy. I'm okay, thank you. Dude was just showing me a picture of some naked ladies. <laughs> Man, this place is funny. Hello. How are you? Okay? Yeah. Good, good. You have a very nice smile. <laughs> have a good day. Oh man, this place. I love this place. But yeah, I want to carry on looking around, talk to some more people, get to know a bit more about the area. And then what we'll do, we'll head back and then come back out when it's night time. So you can fully experience with me what the night time is like here in Sukhumvit. This is what I was talking about earlier when you've got all these kind of western themed bars man like if you're coming here with the boys on a holiday trust me you're not going to be short of a of a pub look at this there's a trailer locked onto the side of a bloody motorbike and of course the Irish pub I feel like the Irish pubs are everywhere <laughs> anywhere you go in the world Thailand Hong Kong Vietnam anywhere in Europe you're probably gonna find an Irish bar somewhere <laughs> I know I've literally just said I'm gonna walk around a bit longer but in all honesty right now I am roasting like a pig or a, a sweet potato if you are vegetarian so because of that I need to I need to head back but don't worry the video is not over yet though I'm heading back to have a much needed rest to recuperate I'm gonna head back out later see what the nightlife is like I think you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised and excited to see this and I think it's going to want you all to sit there and book your plane tickets to Thailand as soon as possible but yes right now I need to uh, get a bottle of water and head back to the hotel because I'll tell you now if I stand in this any longer I'm going to become a piece of evaporated air a raisin so let's head back to the hotel go and have a rest and i'll see you guys when the sun has set over bangkok see you shortly <laughs> hello guys i'm back out on the streets of sukhumvit bangkok now that it is the evening time, I've replenished my energy, drank a few Diet Cokes, ate some food, and now I'm ready to get back out and show you what Sukhumvit is like at nighttime here in Bangkok. Now, of course, it's very different to the daytime. As you can tell, a lot more things out, a lot more people, and of course, a lot more to do, in my opinion. From street food to looking around pop-up markets around the area, there's a lot to do here in Sukhumvit, especially around Nana Plaza, which is where we're going to end today's video. Here's some of the stalls that are set up along the streets. And as you can see, you've got a variety of fake goods, some KFC socks, 
they are absolutely amazing they are get me some of them We've got ronald mcdonald looking like sideshow bob there's a load of different things that you can come and buy here but yeah this is what bangkok looks like at night and very lively a lot of people and a lot of things to do i mean the traffic is absolutely astonishing i would not want to have to drive around at night here but i think that's just kind of the the part and parcel of being an international city so you're gonna have a lot of people here a lot of traveling the most one of the probably the most interesting things about here as well is the fact that there's a boots pharmacy which if you're from the uk is an incredible staple of the British Med Medicare industry. So considering they didn't have that in Hong Kong, I thought it was absolutely astonishing. But that's by the by, that's not really that interesting. <laughs> I just thought it was interesting myself, but you tell me, you tell me. Oh, wow. So this is what I was talking about earlier with the pop-up shops. Got some beautiful trainers and some other goods as well you can come and bargain for and these weren't around earlier when i came down these streets earlier and had a look these just didn't exist and this is like heaven to me i mean you're probably thinking jake get some bargains in but right now i just want to explore and have a look around but this is pretty much everywhere like all the way down this street you'll see stalls just popped up out of nowhere um, nothing really kind of structured or or specific like you do at temple street in hong kong or camden market <laughs> but you still get these pop-up stalls which are quite cool so i mean at the end of the day it's got a different vibe at day than it is tonight and these kind of span on for ages with street food fruits fake goods the lot anyway let's take a look down here see what's down here right so we're just crossing over now to go and have a look at nana plaza as you know i live just down the road from here so this isn't uh this isn't too far to go but as you can see it's really busy there's a lot of people it's phenomenal and bearing in mind when i came down here with my camera uh, with uh, the taxi uh, on the first day my it was astonishing absolutely astonishing so now to be able to see it walk around and explore yeah it's very different <laughs> well, you've got bars you've got all the the stores um, i think down here there's a big massive beer garden down there you even got hooters it's it's pretty cool pretty phenomenal and you've got so many people around just kind of enjoying their night you know having a couple of beers i mean wherever the night takes yeah that's where it is isn't it you know what i mean <laughs> yeah i think if i was to sum this place up in one word it would be crazy but surprisingly crazy in a good way i think um look at the end of the day if you go to london birmingham uh, even hong kong in lang kwai fung you're not going to find anything like this at all it's in itself incredibly unique and at the same time there's so much to go and do and go and see from the daytime where it's a bit more calmer go see all the shops go shopping go do your thing look at all the sites and then nighttime you can come and explore the market the street food buy something from my gal on a cart over here and yeah go and see see what's available here in bangkok but yeah i mean look this has been my first first day here exploring the city and both day and night have astonished me i think there's things for everyone to do everyone to see um whether you're you're uh you know a family you can go to all the sites go see them or whether you're a single group of people looking for a night out you can of course come here but it's entirely up to you it's entirely up to you but no i've really enjoyed bangkok so far and i'm really excited to see what it's going to bring me next where am i going to end up what's going to happen who knows who knows but what i do know is it's going to be incredibly fun and i'm really looking forward to take you guys out for the ride anyway that's the end of this video for me i'm really enjoying it here and i'm really enjoying making these videos and all I've got to really say is thank you guys for all the support and for, for backing me um, in these videos and in the comments, leaving nice messages. Every time I get a nice message, it always, always makes my day. 
so I really appreciate it. Now, until next time guys, I hope you have a lovely day. Take care and I'll see you next time here in Bangkok, Thailand. Bye-bye.